In the cost planner videos, I've explained that uh, component quantity input can be manual, it uh, can be uh, using a variable that we call a takeoff item, or it can be model based. And it may be helpful to uh, check where in the cost plan you have used a certain type of, of quantity, because a certain type of quantity, like a manual estimate, uh, may indicate that some attention. Uh, would be needed uh, to maybe refine the, the cost or make it more accurate. The takeoff quantity filters in Cost Planner will help you to quickly identify where in the cost plan that is. And in this video, I will explain how you can use them. As mentioned previously, the Cost Planner view has many columns, and the layout presets help you to activate an optimal set of columns for what you would like to do. In this case, I will use the quantity preset and the cost preset. The cost plan content can be filtered by applying a takeoff quantity filter to it. This allows you to quickly find the components that use, for example, a manual quantity entry by isolating it from the cost plan view. In this example project, I have used takeoff items that uh, get their quantities from geometry, so model based takeoff quanti quantity items, which you can see here because they're highlighted in the 3D view as explained in the previous video, uh, but also some uh, takeoff items and takeoff quantities that I entered manually. Uh, so these are takeoff items uh, that for which I defined the quantities in here in the takeoff manager by just typing a quantity. You can see that indicated here with the icon uh, that is a pencil which tells you that that is a quantity that was not extracted from the model as these ones uh, but typed in manually. Uh, so the same thing actually uh, happens with with these uh, these metal wall panels I don't have in my model yet so I typed in the val values manually based on an estimate of uh, of the quantities besides that I can also type in a value uh, in the uh, in the quantity cell uh, so for this item I did not define a takeoff item I just typed in 1200 in the source quantity cell In Cost Planner, and uh, I first activate the Cost Layout preset. In Cost Planner, you can uh, quickly identify those assemblies and components that have a link uh, to a model or which are uh, manually entered takeoff items or just typed in directly in your components by using the takeoff quantity filter. You can find that in uh, the uh, in the ribbon. So at the moment, all components are active. But if I remove a tick box for the show components with model based quantities, you'll see that only those components that do not have model based quantities uh, will remain active. Uh, if I also remove the uh, items with manual takeoff quantities, then even more is removed and uh, mixed quantity data only leaves those components that uh, I have a have a quantity that is uh, typed in directly in the quantity cell and that is true for example for the 1200 that I showed earlier. I'll restore the uh, takeoff quantity filters now by putting the check marks back and completing my estimate again and I'll activate the uh, quantity layout preset uh, to show another way to uh, filter your cost plan or to uh, classify the quality of your quantity input and that is the status column. Uh, in the status column uh, which is a, a tag, I will talk about that in the next video, uh, the status tag uh, lets you assign uh, a uh, classification for what that quantity is. Uh, so maybe it is an assumption, uh, maybe it is based on trade quantities or maybe it's from a bid. Uh, so for each of your line items you can select from this list uh, what quantity of type of quantities they are and that lets you filter the list later on uh, using the, uh, the filtering capabilities. So if I want to isolate everything or anything that is uh, a bid quantity or anything that is an assumption, uh, this status column in the uh, quantity preset lets you quickly do that. The data set that I was using contains manually entered quantities manually entered takeoff items and model based takeoff items. In the cost layout preset 
I filtered out the manually entered quantities using the takeoff quantity filter. Then I also used the quantities layout preset to show how you can use the status column to classify the quantity input for components and assemblies.